four and a half billion dollars after construction started 42 years ago. The Watts Bar nuclear plant is now coal. Unit 2 now joins Unit 1 at the plant at Spring City. Today, nuclear power generation in this country took a giant step forward. This is a big day for the people of the Tennessee Valley and actually for the people of the United States. And in fact, it's a historic day. The Watts Bar Nuclear Reactor Number 2 received its operating license from the federal government, making it the first new reactor generating power of the 21st century. The safety record of this design is excellent. In fact, the safety record of the U.S. nuclear industry is outstanding. And so we have a very safe technology here that we understand and we will operate it well. Watts Bar construction began in 1973, but because of cost overruns, Unit 1 was delayed until 1996. TVA committed to finishing Unit 2 in 2007 with a price tag of $2.2 billion. That cost more than doubled to $4.5 billion over the years. That includes 21st century mechanics to basically 70s technology. We are updated all the modern standards. We are compliant with everything, and in fact, above compliant in many things. You know, we already operate three reactors like this one. There are many like it around the world. TVA says Unit 2's multi-billion dollar price tag is worth it. It's also another plant that we can rely on for 40 years to make electricity for the valley. So let's consider the numbers. When it goes online around the first of the year, Watts Bar Unit Number 2 will produce power for more than 650,000 homes. Coupled with Unit 1 already operating, the Watts Bar plant by itself will provide power to 1.3 million homes. Add the two operating units at the Sequoia nuclear plant at Soddy Daisy, plus the three reactors at Browns Ferry in North Alabama, about 40% of TVA's power generation will soon come from nuclear plants. Josh. Calvin, thanks. Senator Bob Corker released a statement today on the operating license for Watts Bar. He said in part, today's historic announcement is great news for the Tennessee Valley and the future of nuclear power. The completion is a testament to leadership and hard work. TVA's ability to provide power will be enhanced by the completion of Watts Bar Unit 2. Congressman Chuck Fleischman also had something to say about this news. He says, in part, it comes as tremendous news and that the new Watts Bar Unit 2 will provide clean, inexpensive, reliable power for East Tennessee.